Hey, howdy, y'all. Tope to you here with the review slash breakdown of Apple TV's Foundation series, Season 1, Episode 3, entitled The Mathematician's Ghost. Uh, once again, I'm not here to try and spoil anything for you. This is really a recommendation than it is a review. I am enjoying this entire series. I, I'm loving the scenes. I'm loving just the, the high high drama of it all, the fact that this empire is still crumbling and now we're just playing back and forth with time. We went back to 400 years ago with Cleon the first. We scroll forward another 30 plus years from where we were in the last episode. Now the empire is, is, is about to change guard, literally. Uh, you've got Cleon, I believe, is the 11th, is about to ascend. Uh, which is essentially walking into uh, his own personal crematorium or something. I don't know. It's it's kind of nuts. But my goodness, it is it is good to see a show taking its sweet time, knowing that it's going to it's going to it's going to take a while for the story to get there, and they're and they're they're willing to take that time and say, you know what, we don't have to show you and wow you with spectacle. We don't have to get the CGI budget going out of out of the out of the range it is just going and it is it is in a very very impressive thing and i again i'm i'm thoroughly recommending this to any and all fans of science fiction anybody who's in, into even good drama please go ahead and watch this because this is going to be if, if they keep this level of of quality up it is going to be an incredible thing for a good long while this scene right here is one of the most powerful things I've seen in quite a while. To whoever was in the writer's room, whoever was batting this back and forth, bravo, you did, you did outstanding work here because four generations of the same person are standing in the same room about to watch their ultimate end. They know that no matter what they do in their lifetime, they're gonna end up in the same room going through the same process. This is so powerful because the man, Brother Dark, um, yeah, Brother Darkness, is walking into his doom, and he knows that there is work undone, and they can't fix it. They don't have an idea of how to fix it. They don't have a plan on how to fix it, and that he knows that the three other men in this room are incapable, perhaps, of even dreaming of an idea to begin to fix it. To see him say farewell to the new brother dusk who he thought would be the man to take care of this problem <laughs> that whole interaction was awesome the the new brother day who is now the new one to take over brother darkness is seen as like you're not ready kid you were you were that scared child when all of all of these issues began you have not <laughs> impressed me whatsoever with your ability to get through this and ultimately the newest brother dawn he has no idea what that kid is capable of or what that kid will be, will be, uh, what his potential could be. He's got to leave it into the hands of the lady holding on to him to give him the same education that the previous versions of Cleon got, and they weren't up to the task. So good luck with that, I guess. I hope it all works out for you. So continuing on with the rest of this, I, I am a big fan of how utilitarian the the outfits are. Uh, they haven't, the wardrobe isn't getting too fancy. It's not trying to be futuristic. It's just trying to be like, look, we got to go to this cold planet. We need something with hoodies. We need something that's work wear, work wear. We need something practical. Let's go ahead and do that. Even the ship that the foundation is on is rather cargo container-esque when you look at it. They're, they're not sp Flashing, you know the the CGI everywhere, and that that to me is is pretty awesome. They saved it for like the whole little cutscene of here's how we built our our settlement, uh, but for the rest of it, it looks to be practical set. It looks to be, you know, you could tell that these people are honestly working in an environment and seeing what they're seeing, whatever it may be. I there's obviously no place with multiple moons or planets visible in the sky. So, yes, they have to do some background work, but 
outside of that, I feel that these people are scuffling and struggling through this mountainous, cold tundra. I feel that they're like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to get under this warm bubble or warmer bubble uh, so we can get out of this cold air. Even, even at the end of the episode, when the other group shows up, those people are wearing stuff that's practical. It's not like there's some kinds of, you know, again, the CGI spectacle is, is not all there and it's fine by me. I, I love every bit of it because if this means that they get to, to, you know, spread the budget out a bit more throughout the year or years, I'm good. I'm okay with what I'm seeing because this is still quality. The dialogue is impressive. The, the, the things that you get to think about, you know, again, going back to the, to the whole genetic legacy thing, that that in of itself is just an interesting concept. I love that this show is, is giving me things to think about. It's making me contemplate, like, what would I do in those situations? What would be my response if, if say, I were the Empire or if I were Selden or if I were part of the Foundation? What would What would I choose to believe? What would I choose to hold on to? What would I choose to you know, preserve for future generations who may or may not even understand what I'm talking about. But again, that's what made the foundation books so awesome to me when I read them as, as a younger man. And now, now that I put time into it, those questions did, they didn't get any easier to solve. There's no magical answers that I have. And that's the scope that the foundation is working with. They don't know what the questions are going to be, let alone what the answers should be to, to the questions of generations 100, 1,000, 5,000 years from now who could not even know what you're talking about. This could, what you're speaking could be a dead language, and you still have to make it easy and presentable for them so they don't have to start all over and rebuild civilization. I, again, the Foundation novels and, and this show in particular is is great and thought-provoking. I'm not here to, to give it a review up or down. That's not what I'm really doing. I'm just here to recommend that if you if you are hesitating in any way, shape, or form about this show, please stop doing that because you are, you are preventing yourself from watching one of the better things on TV right now and one of the better things I've seen in quite a bit. And I... I I can sit. I mean, I've got a lot of the streaming services. I've seen a lot of the shows and TVs out there. So if there's something better, hook, hook me up with it. I would love to see it. I, I know there's some stuff that I got to see. I want to see for all mankind. I want to see a couple of other sci-fi shows. But it was, in terms of this, in terms of sci-fi in particular, this is one of the better things on TV right now, and I highly recommend that you watch it. Uh, Again, I'm going to go now because I, 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 I'm just going to keep blathering on and I don't really want to get into spoilers, but please watch this show. Please support Apple TV in, in making sure that this show survives. Like I said, they're planning on 80 episodes, so let's make sure it gets to that. Uh, I'm, ooh, I, I love watching almost every second of this, and I'm looking forward to Fridays now in a way I haven't really looked forward to them before. Get on this show. Get watching it. You will not be disappointed whatsoever. Uh, again, you can find me here on YouTube or I stream on Twitch. Uh, all at Mr. Tope T.O. Uh, grab, you know, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you feel like it. I'll be here every week, every chance I get. I'll try and add new shows to the list once we're done with this one. If there's anything in particular you'd like my opinion on or think I should take a look at, let me know down in the comments. I've been reading everything that's been coming across. And again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has left messages or subscribed. Uh, it's, it's really helpful. Uh, it, it's helping me make better videos, uh, hopefully, and better content for you in particular. All right. Thank you all. Get back on it and forward the foundation.